Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great month, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 20, NASDAQ up 65, S&P's up 9.5. Gold, gold contract up $36.70, trading at 23.18. You got silver up a buck 24, $27.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $85.45 a barrel. Copper, copper's up 14 and a half cents, folks, 421.35, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, up three ticks, trading 109.26, the 30-year up two at 117.25, and King Dollar. King Dollar is giving it up once again, down 556 ticks, trading 104.260, Euro, 108 yen 151 british palm 126 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks one know what's going on in your world and the world of the s and p's let's take a look at them what do you have well bottom line folks what we have out here is that you have a market that continues to want higher price what we had out what happened yesterday is that when we went down, the S&P had around the same amount of volume, but the NASDAQ composite and the NDX 100 had a contraction of volume. That's why you see in the bounce. What we got out here today is that you got the aspect that the dollar start giving it up. That put juice inside the S&P. Right now, the SPY is up a buck. And now, now the SPY has, that, this is light volume on the SPY. That being said, man, we're going to the highs again. The NDX, it, you're going to see the difference now. The three Qs, the three Qs have volume out here compared to the, the SPY. So the Qs right now have already done 30 million. You're at you're up a buck 45, and it's going for the highs once again, man. That's the bottom line. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift right now to the dollar because the dollar, you know, we've been up, gold's been up tremendously, and the dollar's been up. Now what you're gonna see out here is that the dollar's giving it up. It went, what the dollar did, now check this out, man. The dollar went up, and it did it yesterday. It tested the high of February 13th yesterday. Now, we don't have volume on the dollar, so it's not like you get a, a failure on price and volume. You get a failure on price. That being said, and then what we have out here today is that because you have wide price spread, what you, what you have is that, oops, let me just get this. You're going to see the dollar basically is coming down with conviction and it just it hasn't broken i was uh, it hasn't broken the counter trend uptrend just yet i thought it actually did but it didn't because what happens is that yeah it hasn't done it yet it's right at the line so that's telling me what we're going to see out here tomorrow is that you're going to see another acceleration down on the dollar up in the market is that the way this is laid out right now this is laying right on the trend line It'll blow through that trend line. You know, you get the wide price spread out here today. And then if we get over and we go take a look at the gold contract, what you're going to see is just, you know, this is the C to D of an ABC structure on the way up. And you're already at 23.17. 25.50 is the A to B equals C to D. Now, that's only the one to one, A to B equals C to D. You get 230. 6,000 contracts. It's huge contract volume inside the gold market. Now, check this out. Silver's going to start catching up. We go over to the silver market. We take a look at silver. And what you're going to see out there, silver's up a buck 21. <coughs> excuse me. A uh, buck 24. And, you know, you get, we've get when we have a silver now, you get, you get two big price days. We're going to get another one. They come in threes, folks. So silver's down 129,000 contracts. There's great contract volume. Now we got to go to the copper, man. HGA. This is phenomenal, man. And cop copper, you know, was really the one that's been giving it away. If you get the gold report, you know that I've been into this when it first was 405. Then I was like, man, this thing wants to go. And sure enough, the bottom line is that you're up 
14 cents, which is just a monster move, man. And let's see how this is shaking out. So, so we got an ABC up. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. So we got, you get 414. Oh, this is a beauty, man. Okay, 31. I see, okay. That's interesting. So 31, 431. 426. Okay, the A to B equals C to D in copper is 426. Now, HG1, let's do this and bring this all the way back so we can. I, I get this on a. I'm going to put this on a monthly on a generic commodity shot to see where we're going. Yeah, so I knew, the, I knew there was a 425. What is it, 427? It must be 427. I don't know, it's 435. So 435, we're on the way to 435 right now. That's the bottom line. And the highs that are up there is 505. So this thing's on the move, man, in a monster way, too. So let's go, let me just look at this SCCO for a second. This is the largest copper company out there. Yep, hitting another new high. TGB to Seiko. So Seiko's got a huge amount of copper, smaller stock, but the bottom line is that when you get copper that high, forget it. It's at nine pennies. This is at 242. Let me see the next swing point on this baby. Oh, this is going to get cool. Okay. Let me bring this back for, further because you're coming up. I just put this on a 10 year, I'm going to put it on a 20 year. Because we're coming up to the top of the consolidation. Oh, this is nice. You're coming up to the top of the consolidation. And we break this top of the consolidation. And you are going to see action here, man. Is that a high volume high? It's not bad. What is that? What price is that? That's $7. This thing, take, take a look at this. To Seiko, TGB, folks. And you're going to see. See this, see this last month? That's what you love to see. See that volume spike? That's what you want to see when you're coming into a swing point. Huge expansion of volume. We're going to get the same thing. This thing's going to go bust this uh, 262. Sorry, there, folks. Come right back.